Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this happy Monday morning, the Business 101 session. My name is Willem Klopper. I'm going to be your co-host or your organizer for this morning. With me in studio is Anton Fenter. Now, Anton and I am going to do a little bit of a, a different uh, approach this morning, um, and we do hope that it's going to carry both value to you and be enjoyable for you. Anton, good morning. Morning, Willem. Morning, everybody. What a privilege to be here uh, bright and early on a Monday morning. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. If we can wake up this this early on a Monday morning, then obviously yeah. things are still good. That's We're still it, alive. You know, for the sun is shining. For the guys in KZN, it's probably already afternoon. And for the Oaks <laughs> in the Cape, they're still sleeping. So <laughs> yeah. we're sitting in here off in between. All right, Anton, what we are going to chat about today and what I'd like to chat to you about, because I've got a couple of questions for you. Um, we're going to talk about taking charge. Mm. Taking charge. Mm. And how applicable is that as specifically, specifically now that COVID is over? Uh, we're not in a national uh, state of crisis anymore in the in the country or a state of disaster anymore that has been lifted. Uh, COVID regulations have been lifted. We don't even wear masks anymore. Hmm. All right. But we've all taken a knock. There's nobody that can say that they have not been negatively impacted by COVID. Hmm. Right. Whether that be through health, uh, whether that be through finances, um, Everybody has been impacted and affected by COVID. Um, so currently, life is back to normal, and it's time for us to stand up, dust ourselves up, and to move forward. That's it, eh? And again, that comes back to taking charge. Yes. But I want to ask you, Anton, what exactly do you mean when you say take charge? You know, I'm saying take charge of your life. That's actually where, where, where it all starts. So uh, the concept is, it's time for us to realize that uh, our future lies in our own hands. Okay, there are different types of people. There are those who are alive, and then there are those who are really living. You know, for me, that's a difference between the two. I could just let life happen to me, or I can make life happen. That's, that's really, it's a mindset. And when I ask you to take charge, it's really, it's about taking charge of your life. In other words, becoming the best that you could be. Because it comes back to the core question, why are we here? You know, that's a, that's a question each one of us must answer for ourselves. <clears throat> why are we here? Why are we doing what we're doing? You know, in your business, in your work, where you are working, why? Why are you doing it? Is it just for the money or is there some bigger reason? Sorry, I just got a cough quick. <laughs> <clears throat> Take charge. Take <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> charge. <laughs> so uh, when, when I ask the question about why are you here on planet Earth? Then it comes back to your purpose. No, it's because that's really the core of everything. You know, there's no point in, in, in living if I don't really know, you know, and um, I have to understand my, my reason for being here. And um, I've basically, as a, as a human, I've got one job and that is to become the best me. That's the one thing that I can control is I must become the best person that I could be. I must lead my life properly before I can lead others. Because the better I become in living my own life, the bigger my impact comes to society. And that's the purpose. So in, in the world of work, in the, as a businessman, the same thing applies. The better I live my life, the better I can lead my business. And uh, in the process, I can make my business grow and I can impact the people. And uh, that's, that's really what it's about. So I must, I must lead my life or life will lead me. That's really how simple it is. Lead your life, Anton, or uh, in, in, in other terms that, or other phrase that we can use is to take charge of your life. Correct. Is that what you mean? That's exactly what I mean. I must make things happen. I must take charge. What if, I just, if I just sit back and I just let life happen to me, then things are going to happen and I'm just going to have this victim's mentality the whole time. Mm. Truly successful people understand mm that they are responsible for, for their futures. You know, bad things happen to all of us. I mean, this COVID thing happened to every single body. And yet there are people who come through this and who are now begin, becoming very successful after this. Why? Because they applied a few basic principles. They didn't sit there and say, oh, I can't do anything, you know, my life's over. They said, okay, this is bad. This happens. How do I get up? How do I move forward? In other words, take charge, make things happen. And so now if, if, if we look at taking charge, make things happen, 
Um, that means that you have to sort of make a decision. You have to, to stand up and say, right, we've been affected. My business was affected. And I do know that plumbers, you know, most of our audience today on these webinars are plumbers. And I do know that most plumbers, you know, plumbing work continued because it was seen as an essential or still is seen as an essential service. So it continued throughout uh, COVID. Mm. Um, so plumbing work may not have been as drastically affected, but it was still. All right. So you've been explaining to us now, taking charge of our life and, mm. and, and, uh, taking control of our lives. But that means that you have to make a decision to do something. Correct. And that means that you've got to be intentional. Yes, that's it. So be, being able to take charge of your life is literally that film. It's literally, I have to be intentional about who I want to become, you know, about the type of life I want to live, about the type of business I want to have, about everything. So how it really works is I, I need to have a purpose. I need to have a clarity of where I'm going. So there needs to be some kind of a dream. I need to clarify for myself in my own personal life, in my business, where am I going to end up? You know, so why am I working every day? Is it just, just, to, just to work? Is it just to get that single income just so that I can keep the wheels turning? Because sometimes it is like that. Sometimes my income is not enough. So it's basically just to cover my expenses but I need to have some kind of a bigger picture in front of me that's pulling me forward. Some kind of a goal whereby I can say to myself, you know, this is where I want to take my company. This is what I want to take my business. I would like it to have these many employees. I would like to have it to have this kind of turnover. I would like to have these kind of resources available. I would like to make this kind of difference in society because that's after all what we are doing. You know, as plumbers, we are making a massive, massive difference in society. You know, and, and we've got such a vital role. You know, you said that it's an essential service. Absolutely. You know, I mean, just cut the water off to a household for a day. <laughs> and uh, everyone understands the value of plumbing effectively, you know, or, you know, when a sewage pipe breaks in your yard or whatever, I'm using stupid examples, but when we blocked or, uh, yeah, or the geezer's broken, mm. you know, we, we are, plumbers are vitally important to society. They, they, but now, I am here, I understand I have value, but how big do I want that value to be? You know, it's how far do I want to take it? What kind of dream do I have to make a difference? You know, and where do I want to take? That's the first thing. So I need to have this vision, this dream that's pulling me forward that I know, okay, and quantify it, you know, write it down on paper, say to yourself, this is what I want. I have a clear picture of where you want to go. You know, so in my business, I'm a leadership consultant and I have a, ooh, and I have a leadership co development company and uh, we have a campsite where we develop um, people, you know, where we take people out and we develop. I have a very clear picture of the impact that we want to make. And I communicate that regularly with my staff. They know exactly why we are doing what we're doing, you know, where we are going. And that is the vision in front of you. But now the intentionality comes into aligning your actions with that vision. Ah. Understand? So when I live inten with intention, then it means that I'm living with that plan. In other words, every time I do things, it is towards that. I know. So in my business now, there's a decision in front of me and I have to make um, a choice. You know, if you guys hear doof, doof every now and again, it's me that's talking with my hands here. <laughs> bumping, yeah. bumping into the microphones here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so uh, I, I, when I make a decision now, like, for example, do I buy the new Bucky or don't I buy the new Bucky? You know, what is my motivation? Is the new Bucky necessary for me to achieve that dream, that purpose? You know, because the Bucky is more about than just the Bucky. It's more than just a tool. It's also a branding instrument. It's also a marking instrument. There's a lot of positive things around it that I've got to consider. And then, you know, so now I've got to make this decision based on the fact in front of me. But the thing that's going to pull me forward is the vision. So am I doing this for some other reason? Am I just buying this Bucky because I want to drive a cool Bucky so I can make my neighbors jealous? <laughs> or am I actually doing this because it's driving me towards the vision that I've set for my company, my business? That is intentionality. It, that does is, it, does that it is, supplement your goal, your vision, correct. to which you are walking, uh, working to? And when I'm saying take charge of your life and take charge of your business, that is where it starts. So you need to know where you are going and then you need to know how you get there. And you need to make sure I align my decisions, I align my choices in life with that vision, that goal.
That is how I take charge. But that what you <clears> just explained just now, Anton, that comes down to to me. It sounds like mindfulness. That's right. Being mindful about your thoughts, being mm. mindful about your decisions, being mindful about your goals, thinking about things. That's right. Is that correct? What what in your how can you explain or define mindfulness to us? You know, mindfulness is exactly that, Willem. It's that that ability to think. You know, that's what separates man from the beasts, if I can put it that <laughs> way. And unfortunately, we do not we do not always apply that, especially as men. You know, I don't know if you've seen this advert uh, insurance for women. Now, back in the day when that when they started that company, they started it by actually just putting a few clips on of the type of stuff that men sometimes do without <laughs> thinking. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Mindful means that I actually think before I act. <laughs> right, that is that's it. So I need to think. I need to apply my mind. I need to really, if I want to become intentional, if I want to take charge, it means that I have to think and do. Um, <laughs> when I don't, then, then things, things don't, don't um, work out so well. So um, I have to evaluate the situation in front of me. Okay. I've got to think about, okay, so what is this really? You know, let's analyze this, this position that I'm in at the moment. And then I have to generate options for myself and then I need to make a decision. Okay. So which, which is the way I'm going to go with this. That's the mindful part. So we are actually thinking and from there I move into action. You know, some guys don't move past the thinking stage either. So they will think about it. They will understand exactly everything is wrong. And then what do they do? They'll just start moaning about it. You know, instead of doing something about it. <laughs> we call them the dreamers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So taking charge means that I actually think about this, I analyze it. You know, like for example, one of the things that I that I that I do is I coach rugby. And now your team don't do very well. Right. So you have to have that ability to analyze the performance and say, okay, so what's wrong here, guys? Where where are we going wrong? Right. What do we need to fix? All right. That's step one. So analyze the performance. And then once I've identified the areas of strength and the areas of weakness, remember every in every situation, there's always strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. And I want to make sure my strengths are very strong. So people often say you must work on your weaknesses. Yeah, you must. You must fix your weaknesses. But you must make your strengths even stronger. So in practice, I will always then focus at least half my time, more than that, on my strengths. Make them even better. So if I've got a good rolling mall, I will develop that into an excellent rolling mall. Oh, yeah. You know, and now I realize, okay, so I've got a weak defense in the first channel, then I'm going to start working on strengthening that, that, that defense. But I must have that ability to think about it, see what's wrong, okay? And then decide, okay, this is how I'm going to address the problem, right? And then start doing it. So then I bring my action plans into place. But at the end of the day, I have to be in control of that process. So I have to start, I have to drive it. Because if I don't drive it, nothing's going to change. All right, so there's, a, there's this think-do cycle whereby I think about something and then I put it into action, All right? That is, so the thinking part is the mindfulness. The action part is the intentionality. And once again, I align that with my vision, which is waiting there in front of me. Anton, but just before we move on to the next thing that I want to ask you about, just quickly say, but when we think, we can think about things, mm. we can think about our, goal, our goals, we can think about our time and our life and our things, but we have to think about others as well. Yes. And, and, and when we, th when that's we mindfulness again. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I have to be mindful of others. I have to be mindful of people mm. and society. Yeah. You know, my, uh, my mom, I'm one of those lucky people with a very wise mother. <laughs> and she used to have these sayings, you know, that, that stuck with me through my years. And um, one of them is people are more important than things. And that's something you guys can remember in your work. You know, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you actually don't have a technical job. You actually have a people job. You, mm -hmm. you must be a people person because you are working with people the whole time. The, con the consumer, the customer. That's it, the customer, and your staff, everyone. And the thing is, if you want to, to get really good comebacks from your customers, make them feel good. Mm. Okay, so the better I make a client feel as a person, the, the more likely he is to make use of me again. So, so I have to develop it. Now, that mindfulness with people, Willem, that comes back to how am I going to make a difference in society? Mm. In other words, what, 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 what's my bigger impact? So, for, 
for my business, right? I'm not just working for myself. I'm working to make a difference. Mm. I'm working to improve the lives of people. Yeah. Have that clarity in front of you because that at the end of the day is what you're going to have with when you've got nothing else left. Sounds like a good habit. Yes, that's it. You know, so that intentionality, that mindfulness, you know, you're talking about habit, that's it. I need to create good habits. So when I can every day work on my vision, you know, it's when I can implement things in my business and in my life that I do every single day, then it becomes a habit. Mm. And the habits is who I become. Yeah. So literally, it's like, let's put up the vision. Let's say, this is who we want to be. This is exactly the clear picture of where we want to go as a company. Okay. Then we put up that intentional, well, then we become mindful and we think about it. <laughs> and then we become intentional about how do I get there? So I, I, I do certain steps. And then in my business, I will have certain um, um, SOPs, standard operating procedures that needs to happen every day that talks to that vision. You know, it's the way we pack our bucket, the way we, 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 we check our tools, you know, the way we start our day off with our staff. There must be a certain standard way of doing things, which is like a habit, mm. which is healthy and which speaks to my bigger vision. Mm. And when I got that in place, then that is who I become. And that's stuff that we can control. You know, it's um, with, uh, with, with, with my camps and everything else. So when people arrive at my campsite and uh, <clears throat> as they arrive, my staff let them park in the long place. Like, for example, we have a lovely lawn in front of our facility that we use for activities. I don't want vehicles on that lawn. Mm. Okay. So to stay pretty. If I let a car drive when a guy comes in, he's going to drive there the whole camp. Yeah. That's it. So the, the things that I allow right in the beginning are the things that's going to, this is, this is acceptable now. Mm. So I need to understand, I need to make sure that people understand. I need to take charge of my processes. So my rules of operating must be in place. And I need to apply it consistently so that people know, okay, this is how it works. Anton, let's talk about, we, we briefly touched on developing habits. Yeah. And we spoke about thinking about things, being yes. mindful about things. Isn't developing habits something that happens without us thinking about it? Sometimes. Yes. So it's a yes it's and It's a no. yes and a no. <laughs> so there's gray, there are gray areas in life. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, our bad habits is exactly that. You know, we so, develop, oh, is that? We yeah. develop bad habits without Whenever even Whenever we think about, about it. it, yeah. No, exactly. I mean, every single bad habit in your life, we know our bad habits. Well, there's not one person out there that doesn't have bad habits. Oh, for sure. Okay, we all do. And if you go look at that bad habit and you really become mindful about it, you think about it and you analyze it. So why did this thing come into my life? Where did it happen? It's those times where you weren't thinking. Right. So in other words, where you weren't weighing up the pros and the cons, you don't think about the long-term impact of this thing and you allowed it to creep up to you. So that is a typical chase, a case where, the, where life took charge and you didn't. In other words, you allowed life to happen at that point in time. And you didn't make it happen. Therefore, that thing is something that you started doing often. And when I start doing often, it becomes a habit. And once it becomes a habit, it forms my character. <clears throat> and that's what it is. So those have bad habits that we have in place is exactly that. It is at some point in my life, I was vulnerable or whatever, or under pressure or something. And I started doing something without necessarily thinking about the long-term impact of it. And now it's a habit and now it's very difficult to break, you know, but the same principle applies to good habits. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So those things that I want in my life, those ways of dealing with people, those ways of dealing with my business, the, 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 the positive things, the things that I actually know is going to make me successful. It's the same principle. The only thing is now I'm intentional about, it. I think about it. I think this is something that I want in my life. This is something I want to do on a regular basis because this is going to help me become a certain person. Mm. This is going to supplement my goal towards my goals and reaching yes. my goals. It's going to supplement my intention that I have. Yeah. And then I want to ask you quickly, a habit is something that we repeatedly do. Yes. All right. How long does it take <clears throat> to, uh, to, to grow a habit? What to get into habit of something? They so say 21 a, days. 21 days. <laughs> That's why art lockdown <laughs> was exactly 21 days, the very first level of art. Do you Think remember that one? 21 days. And at that time, was uh, cigarettes were bad and alcohol were bad. And I thought to myself, you know, if 
actually, people, this is a good opportunity to break, break your habits, <laughs> right, your bad habits. <laughs> but anyway, no, it's 21 days. So, um, um, because but, 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 Willem, to become good at something, it's a bit more than that. So they say you form a habit in 21 days by doing something consistently over 21 days, right? Um, there's other thoughts, other schools of thoughts that said to cement that habit, then repeat it for another 36, and then you will have it for life. Okay. But uh, when my sons were small, um, my youngest son, uh, um, he used to wrestle back when he was like a five-year-old. I took him for wrestling and uh, the deal was you wrestle the whole year, right? So you start, you're going to finish this year. He hated it, but he had to do it. That was the deal. So anyway, uh, the, the coach, the Russian uh, wrestling coach that he had, Alibek Vechedov, used to say that if you repeat something 36,000 times, Right, then it becomes instinctive. Then you right. do it without thinking. Right. And I can see that today in that son. You know, so a lot of the things because he's a professional rugby player these days. And if you look at him tackle, that tackling technique was set in great when he was five years old in that wrestling practice because he tackled thirty six thousand times in that year, <laughs> even more. So these days he will tackle without thinking. If you walk past him and you know in the road, he might just tackle you. <laughs> so. This is where I wanted to get back, um, Antoine, is the fact that a time uh, mm. developing habits developing good habits and and uh, the reason why i specifically ask you how long it takes is 21 mm. days there is time connected to things Correct. and we have to align our time with our intention our goals yes. and those kind of yes. things yes and you you need to you need to be intentional about what you do that's it so with 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 all your things so what what you got to do is align that vision in front of you get clear clarity on exactly where i'm going have a plan in action of how i'm going to get there Okay, so be intentional and then develop a daily action list. That is crucial. That's something I learned from my dad. My dad used to write these little lists the night before. So every night he will sit down, he'll take out his list for that day, he'll cross out all the different things that he completed and then he'll write his list for the next day. He had that daily action list and then he will go through that. And he made sure that nothing ever weren't done. You know, but also those daily SOPs, those daily standard operating procedures that he felt would make his company successful were on there. You know, so every single day repeating those actions. You've got time to do it 36 times. If you have time to do it 36 times to yeah. make it instinctive, the good habits, habits that will contribute and supplement towards your goal and your intentions, then use that time effectively. Yes. Apply that time effectively to reach your goals. 100%. That's exactly what it is. It's about it's about effective use of your time. Anton, we are drawing to a close of this webinar, but I've got a two two last questions for you. One, I would like to offer you the opportunity to have any last words or final final uh, uh, statements to our listeners, to our audience out there. But I wanted to have to ask you just very briefly: How does this conversation that we had today, taking charge, how is that applicable to plumbers, to the plumbing industry? Extremely applicable. The reality is plumbers are people, Willem. <laughs> and this is something that all people need to do. We need yeah. to take charge of our lives. We need to take charge of our businesses. We need to take charge of our homes. Mm. We need to be good leaders. Yeah. That is that is really where it starts. So I need, uh, and, and leadership starts with the way I lead myself. Mm. So we need to be good leaders if we really want to become successful. The thing that we have to remember and got to always remember is my success or failure depends on the things I do. So when things go wrong, when bad things happen, it's the way we react to that that will determine whether we become successful or not. You know, and we need to take charge of our lives. It's applicable, extremely applicable to every single person out there. Well, in our personal lives, but especially Absolutely. if we are employers. And many of yes. our listeners are out there are plumbers who are Correct. employers, whether they employ two or three people or whether they employ 20 vehicles out in the field and a staff complement of 40 or 60 it doesn't make a difference. You're an employer, which means you're a leader Yes. and taking charge. Mm -hmm. That's why we're having conversations like these to, to help the guys with their businesses. Yeah. And there are various aspects, aspects of businesses and certainly the, the personal aspect is one mm -hmm. of them mm -hmm. because we are people. 100% and in business as well. You have to take charge. You have to be a good leader of your business. That's really how you're going to become successful. Anton, so we've got about two or three minutes left. Let's see if there are any questions. I don't see any questions in. So I would like to encourage our, our, for the last two minutes that we have to our listeners out there, if you've got any questions, well, go ahead, type them in the questions tab. Um, Anton, I'm going to give you the opportunity 
any last final statements? Yeah, the the, the fact of life is, you know, um, in my <clears throat> my line of work, which is leadership consulting, uh, which is basically developing leaders, um, I've realized that in life, there are so many people who just don't believe in themselves. They don't become successful because they don't think they can. You know, and when I analyze different successful people, then I find one common theme. It is all people that decided to be successful. You know, that a guy that's successful, a celebrity, a person that's a professional sports person, um, a guy that becomes very rich like Elon Musk. You know, at the end of the day, they are still normal people. Yeah. Okay. Who just do things very well. And that's what makes them successful. And we have to understand that there's no reason we need to stand back to anybody. But we need to take charge. Take charge of our lives. Take charge of our business. Because if we don't, someone else will. <clears throat> if I don't take charge of my business, my business will take charge of me. And then I start running around like a crazy pig. So the, the, the tail wags the dog. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's really for me what, what this is in essence about. Yeah. So be the person you were created to be. Be the best version of yourself. And live with intention to really make a difference. Take control of the things that you have control over. That's it. And make, make use of the time that you've got available to reach your goals. Set some goals. Be intentional about where you want to go, what your purpose is. Um, and then take action. Have, develop habits, good habits that supplement those intentions, the goals that you have. Yes, 100%. Yeah, Until thank you so much, Venom. Thank you to everybody for, for having me on this uh, early Monday morning out here chatting to you guys. I hope you had a good time. And um, I'm looking forward to chatting to you again soon. Anton, thank you so much. And thanks to our audience and our listeners for having tuned in. I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye and end off this webinar for everybody. Have a blessed week. Cheers, everyone.